Simon, he says, yeah, Chisora, he, he's got a puncher's chance yeah. when it comes to the fight with Fury on Saturday night. Do you agree? I mean, is it going to take one freak <coughs> punch for a massive upset to happen? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's an easy um, anecdote to trot out. The, look, I understand that Tyson Fury needs to fight because he can't not have fought for the best part of 12 months before he potentially gets into the ring with Alexander Usyk, which is scheduled for March. So it's understandable that he needs to fight. And I understand that the situation that everyone got promised this wonderful oasis of jo uh, you know Joshua Fury, that probably, on the balance of probability, was sensible for Anthony Joshua not to take. But it's very, very difficult to make a case for this fight when you've seen it twice before. And you've seen the outcomes twice before. Now, this was a, a, a tune-up fight they never fought before. And you hadn't seen Tyson Fury school him in the first fight and finish him in the second. Then you'd say, OK, fine, I get it. There isn't, there, there, there is, this is as much a foregone conclusion as you're going to get in elite boxing. Really? Uh, yeah, that one-sided? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. So with that in mind, if that's what can you... Can you say that? If that's Honestly, what you, Simon, if that, yes, I can. In boxing. And if that's what you want to... If that's what you want says to, we're not in the business of robbing the public of their money. Well, Derek's in the business of building a pension fund, and fabulous to Derek, good luck, right? And he's engineered a situation where he's got a fight with Tyson Fury, probably earlier than Fury had promised him. But you're in a situation now where if you want to pay, and let's be clear, pay through the nose on pay-per-view, one of the most expensive fights that they put out there, and I used a certain an anecdote on our award-winning show that I do without you, uh, <laughs> talk, talk boxing, um, to describe... When, when did uh, it win an award? Oh, in my mind, it's one of the worst. Oh, okay. it's, 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 it's coming down the pike. It's just an inevitability. It's planning thing. for the future. Thank you very award, much, actually. Award winning. So I look at it and say, in all things being equal, I understand the tune-up mentality. I'm, I'm, I refuse to be engaged in this particular fight. I'm not interested in it. I expect Tyson Fury... That's nonsense. You'll watch it. No, I won't. First of all, I won't. I could have gone to the fight when we got back. I have no interest in going. Well, you're on a flight. You haven't landed there. Well, no, but we'll be back at 5.30 in the evening. I can quite easily get my backside in gear and go down to, to Wembley to watch it. It's Tyson um, Fury. A chance no, to watch him live. Not interested. Are you kidding? No, not interested. It's, it's, it, to me, it's a... It's a, it's a take-on of a fight. I don't think it's a great fight. I'm sure Tyson will have different views on it, but I'm not interested in Tyson's view. You're asking me about my view. And as a boxing fan, I love the sport. I look at it and say it's a tune-up fight that's happened twice before. There's nothing compelling about it. There's, no, there's no jeopardy in this conversation. It's a fight that I fully expect to close my eyes, wake up on Sunday morning and see Tyson Fury to so, one so an easy fight. So why were you up for Fury White and yet you're not up for this? Well, I had hoped that that was something that the advertising was good and the product was equally as dandy. But it wasn't because Dillian White wasn't good enough. So what we saw was somebody that was well entitled to be fighting for a world title after three years of being backburned by everybody else, some of his own fault because potentially he could have not taken step-aside opportunities that were there in the past. Mm. But we expected, and we began to think that our expectations were going to be diminished when we, saw Tyson, um, when we saw Dillian White walk into a press conference. And I said to you, this fellow don't think he can win. And, and so we saw, and we saw a very disappointing performance from Dillian White. And what yeah. we got to understand was he's not at that level. Alex, and neither is Derek Chisora. You're a, a fan of boxing. Of course you are. Um, does it excite you? I don't want to do this down too much because I must admit, Amir Khan said what he meant, meant what he said. He said to me afterwards, I do mean it. If Chisora can nail him early, you might have a shot in your hands. But it's a massive if. I can't see it. Um, I agree with Simon. I think Fury will, will have too much. Um, will I watch? Probably not. Um, you will. Uh, I, I'm not sure I will. I, I think Simon. Listen to it. I think Simon's hit the nail on the head. You, you want to see a contest. I just can't see this being a contest. It isn't the fight that we all want to see. Let's be honest. Okay. And there it ends. And I think you know that, that whether Frank disagrees and whether the pay-per-view prices. I think they've taken the mickey on the prices. I said a different word on the podcast that I talked about a moment ago. I don't think it's a great fight, but I understand why it's here. Okay. And let's get on to the business of seeing Tyson Fury fight Alexander Usyk. Let's get on to the business of a compelling fight for Anthony Joshua. Let's get on to the business of a compelling fight for Joe Joyce. And then we can see the real world of boxing rather than people being given pension funds. Incidentally, you're so animated uh, this afternoon. I'm watching you in front of me here. Why have you still got your stadium wristband on from last night? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just get so excited about being in environments that uh, I can't you know, take the things off that remind me of being there. It's like, <laughs> it's like trinkets from a crime. I mean, the certain people, serial killers, take things away and h house them at home. I keep little uh, All right. tags from games. I would have appreciated the short version. <laughs> Saturday, Tyson Fury against Derek Chisora. It's live and it's free on TalkSport.